The late, great LJK Setrite used to rail at engineers who thought that if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. There's an element of that in McLaren's starter sports series, particularly the 570S, where spectacular performance doesn't quite fill the soul. What McLaren has so far failed to understand is that at this level, $198,950 before state and federal taxes, its products need to appeal to more than just number-obsessed track junkies. While incisive turn-in, roll-free handling, and jet fighter fast ticks some boxes, others such as space and grace are left resolutely unticked. GT derives from the Grand Tour, a 17th century European rite of passage cultural tour undertaken by wealthy old young blades anxious to see and hear the great works of art and music for themselves. Food, wine, and other earthly pleasures might also have been involved. And while the name has been lifted by Clarkson, Hammond, and May for their forthcoming Amazon car show, true petrol heads will more properly associate Grand Tour with the Italian Gran Turismo, a car capable of high-speed, cross-continental peregrination in style, with space for expensive luggage. Whoops, did I mention Italy? Not something done lightly in the presence of McLaren, which has a culture of omerty when it comes to rivals, Ferrari, Lamborghini, and even Audi and Porsche. McLaren cars might be passionate and fired with the winning spirit of its racing founder Bruce McLaren, the mercurial and talented Kiwi who died in a testing accident at Goodwood 46 years ago, but its clinical approach to the business of making cars leaves some cold. The new 570 GT aims to change all that. It's basically a 570S with a glass rear hatchback that opens toward the according sidewalk for right and left hand drive depending on the country of sale. Unlike the S owner cramming luggage behind the seats, the GT owner elegantly post weekend bags into the leather floor trunk. Actually the width of the rear fender means they'll likely be dragging them across the all aluminum bodywork. At least McLaren offers a vinyl coating service to protect the paint. Another advantage of space is a welcome simplicity to the coachwork. The GT transformation declutters chief designer Rob Melville's basically sound proportions, and they breathe a little better as a result. The hatchback gives an additional 7.8 cubic feet to add to the 5.3 cubic feet under the trunk lid, which added together is more room than in a Ford Focus.